Yeah, I think uh, just having a new view and we're very humbled that the Lone Star accepted us and we're, we're definitely excited to take the next step and compete at a higher level. Uh, our guys have been just electric uh, this offseason about moving up and, and being able to compete at this level. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to be a transition, uh, but uh, we're excited to get the opportunity that these guys have been craving probably for the last few years. Okay, tell me about the, uh, the young men standing to, or sitting to your right. Yeah, this is uh, Quincy Blair. Uh, Five years, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's one of the OGs, uh, along with uh, Vince right next to him. Uh, been here since I was the offense coordinator at Sol Ross. So uh, these guys have both worked their tail off and, and on both sides of the ball. And uh, these guys have definitely weathered the test of time, and, and now they're they're ready. So, uh, Vicente, I want, to, I want to start with you. From a player perspective, uh, now, what has the Lone Star Conference and the move to Division Two been like for you within the locker room, within the program? Uh, everybody's pretty excited for it. I mean, we get to play a whole new conference, a whole new league of teams. So, just being able to expand our competition field and you know, play against some people is really exciting. Uh, Quincy, uh, you're an old man now, fifth year there in Alpine. How have you seen the program change since you, you first arrived out there in Alpine? Uh, I've seen everybody uh, that's came into our program, they've grown and they actually matured into and bought out what we wanted for our program, basically. Uh, Coach, I want to ask you, you know, the, the challenges, you know, I know there's a lot of excitement out there in Alpine for the move to Division Two from Division Three, but there are challenges as well. From your perspective, what are those challenges that you're navigating uh, to make that transition? Well, first of all, this is one of the toughest Division Two conferences in the nation. There's definitely going to be a step up in talent. Uh, having been and witnessed what the Lone Star has, um, it's just something that you know we've had to communicate with our guys and the, our football program and our coaches um, that not only through the recruiting process but also making sure that our guys are trying to up their level of play and develop so that way we can compete at the at this talent. So um, you know it's it's one of the, the toughest uh, transitions out there, but you know we're we're going to go up and. Give it everything that we got in our competition. Uh, Vicente, a kid from San Diego, now out there and I'll find you were a second team All uh, American Southwest Conference pick last season. Uh, when you take a look at this offense there at Salt Ross, moving into 2024, what has you most excited about this unit? Uh, I think because usually we get a couple of players and they take off after year, after like grades or something like that. So I'm excited for this year. We got a lot of people returning on offense. I think we got eight of our 11 starters returning on offense. So just to be with that group of guys again and Build the, the relationship, like the trust with everybody, knowing we're all on the same page and all that. That's what I'm really excited for. And Quincy, shout out Corbin Marshall. Uh, you know, this is the defense that at times up and down last season there, and now you're moving into, as Coach said, one of the best uh, leagues in, in Division Two. You know, what are you guys focused on defensively this offseason to make sure you guys are able to make that leap? Uh, we're building chemistry because we have a young group of guys from last year coming back, so, and we have few others coming in, so we're just building chemistry, molding together, and being a, probably one of the best defenses. Folks, welcome back to the Lone Star Conference. I know they are absolutely thrilled to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, the logos of Soul Ross State. Thank you.